Um, welcome, Sierra. I mean, this is her home, but thank you for letting us be here to celebrate the de dedication with you and all our um, partners and sponsors. Um, we hope you are enjoying it. Sierra moved in, in about two weeks ago, so um, she closed, and uh, I think she's very happy, and her children are all at school today. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I also... Um, I'd like to welcome our board of directors, Greg Matavina, who is the board chair, and David Hicks, who is the vice chair, and who was instrumental in getting Baptist to be a sponsor for this home, so we're appreciative of that. Um, and um, I'd like to welcome Baptist, Audrey Moran, John Wilbanks, Lynn Sherman, and the American board member, Also, our volunteers, uh, our community partners, and we have uh, another guest today, uh, Valerie Jenkins. She's from Wells, and she um, has been yeah. in <laughs> Wells Fargo, and she was instrumental in getting um, down payment assistance through the Neighborhood Lift Program for Sierra. And we hope to have more opportunities in the future for more of our homeowners with that. And of course, the um, Habitat staff. And the AmeriCorps members of this set, who I was going to say this is their first dedication, but it probably is not. They probably work here on Tuesday. <laughs> so um, we're happy that you're all able to come and join us today. Um, in, in preparation for this meeting, I was looking at uh, the mission statement for Baptists. And it says the mission is to continue the healing ministry of Christ by providing quality health care services. And they have made a commitment to a healthy community, knowing healthy people create a stronger community. And I was really surprised at how much alignment it was with our mission statement. And it's to demonstrate the love and teachings of Jesus Christ by building and renovating high quality affordable housing, act, acting as partner and catalyst for affordable housing. And, um, Oh, I forgot the last one, and advocating on behalf of um, a high uh, affordable housing. So I thought, wow, we are, you know, really working together in this, and I think that's part of the partnership in the Newtown Success Zone. And with that, you know, it's, we have been together to look at neighborhood revitalization, and Wells Fargo was very instrumental in providing seed money for us in this new initiative, and we're appreciative. And we're working with about 20 other partners in the, um, in the Newtown Success Zone because we know it's more than just housing. You know, it's strong families, strong communities, safe communities, sustainable communities. And this is a perfect alignment of us working together in the area that we, both agencies have made a commitment to work with the, the people who live here. So it, it, it's, God has brought us together again in our work, and um, it's, it's nice to see that we're both being, both agencies are being successful in, um, in this fall. Um, it reminds me, we are committed to this. We have already built about 150 homes here in Newtown, 12 we did in the spring, um, and we are planning on building another 42 in um, this year, we by June, another 42 new homes. And we are also doing other housing products, as most people know, um, critical home repair. We're also rehabbing homes. We're doing what we call a brush with kindness on exterior and food. We've made a commitment to this neighborhood for the next couple of years, and we are looking forward to working alongside partners like Baptist. Uh, one, I, I, when we look at our mission statement, we put high quality. You can look at this house, and indeed you can say it is high quality, but it is also affordable. And with homes being affordable, it gives our homeowners other opportunities. In the spring, when we built one of the homes, the person was paying 65% of her income to her rent before she moved in. Now her house, her mortgage payment, taxes and her insurance are so much less than what she was paying. And now she is able to 
provide medical care for her son, which she was not able to do. He has gone to a, um, an allergist and a speech therapist, which was not before in her budget. So this is, this is what this holistic partnership is all about. Each of our components are critical to, to success. And we're very appreciative of all the partners that we have. And I, I just really want to thank want to really thank all Baptists um, for your commitment to New Town and also for your commitment to Habitat and your generosity for making this opportunity for Sierra. Baptist Health family, congratulations, Sierra. Um, I apologize in advance for some of the caulking in the back bedroom. That was me. <laughs> Not the best with the caulk gun, but, um, but a lot of love went into it. I'll tell you that for sure. And um, this was just an amazing experience for Baptist Health. We had done a home years ago, um, but I'm back to do it this year with the wonderful encouragement of our friend David Hicks, who is an example of what it means to be a community trustee, somebody who gives back and cares about the greater community. Um, Baptist Health is committed to Newtown. We worked with the Jesse Ball DuPont Fund to do a community health needs assessment where we really uh, went through the entire neighborhood to talk about health and to talk about what those needs were and we're acting on those needs now. We fund the school nurse at the local elementary school because with funding cutbacks at our schools, there wasn't a nurse available. We fund that position there. And when we got the opportunity to participate in Newtown with a Habitat's home, it was an easy decision for our board of directors to invest here because we know that strong neighborhoods are the foundation of good health. Uh, a home to come home to, a place to call your own, uh, is really the foundation of building that holistic uh, continuum of care that Mary Kay talked about. We um, are the only community governed, locally owned health system in Northeast Florida. That's because you all own Baptist Health. And it is our mission and our values to give back and partner with great organizations like Kappa Jacks to make this community the very best place it can be. I've only been at Baptist Health a little less than a year, and I will tell you it is extraordinary to work for an organization that lives its values every day. And part of living its values is participating in wonderful projects like this. And we are thrilled to be here at this dedication today, Sierra. Have Jacks, you are a wonderful, wonderful part of our community. And thank you for letting us play a small part in helping make Newtown a neighborhood that we can all be proud of. Thank you. Good day, everybody. My name is Mara. I have the pleasure of welcoming Aaron and Lynn Sherman from Baptist. Would you please join me, as well as Gray from the Sons of the American Revolution and, of course, the lovely Miss Harmon. I have the privilege of leading the Partner Services team, which includes staff, volunteers, home buyers, community partners of all kinds. So we are so thrilled, as Mary Kay shared, to really join with you in helping and aiding and partnering with special ladies like Sierra. I want to give special acknowledgement to Lynn for being the partner par excellence to deal with from the moment we knew Baptist was partnering with us. There was not a week that went by that I didn't have very pleasant, cordial, constant contact, making sure the dozens of Baptist volunteers who were coming out were taken care of, knew where they were going, what to wear, what to expect, and just a wonderful professional lady. So please, Lynn, thank you for the support you worked on. Now, Erin has the pleasure of introducing Sierra. Alrighty. We'll come a little closer, Sierra. Um, Sierra Harmon is one of, I 
hate to say it, but one of my favorite home buyers. We all have our favorites. Um, she was one of the first home buyers that was able to approve for the Habitat program. And we worked very closely for quite a few years. She originally came to the program in 2011. Um, she's a medical assistant um, with a pediatric clinic in the Riverside area. Um, she's also a proud, hardworking mother of three young children. I'm sure you're getting them unpacked as we speak. Um, she has done a wide variety of things to complete her 300 sweat equity hours. She has done deconstruction, landscaping. With the decon, I just deconstruction. I remember that most vividly. Tearing out walls <laughs> in a home that we were rehabbing. Um, landscaping from everything that went into her home, she's done it. So very excited for Sierra. Um, she was always one of those ladies that kind of laid under the radar. She always did what was expected. Never really had a harp on her for anything. And here we are today and she's closing her new home. So let's give it up for Sierra. I would like to introduce Manuel Fox. We like to call him as the Fox. <laughs> and he is a member of the Happy Jacks team who would like to express via song the faith that Sierra demonstrated in working through and obtaining her farm. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Um, my mother's also who uh, was a Habitat owner. So I knew through her um, her going through with it, faith, you need that through this program because it's a lot of times where you look up and like, when is going to happen? And somebody like Michelle or Angie or Aaron calls and, you know, they, they you know, just build you up. So uh, roll a song. You might not know it, so just hum along with it. Um, it goes, uh, if I don't let up, Oh, I know I won't give up, but I know it will get better, but I gotta keep my head up, in my eyes I can't see it, but in my heart I'm still believing, that's what I call faith walking, that's faith walking, I think about Peter, and how he was believing, but when he started doubting, he sure went to seeking. You asked him why, I, as you looked in his eyes, you pulled him closer, and the storm was over. And then I think about Thomas, oh, down Thomas, he seen you die. I, but didn't believe when you asked. And everybody told him he still didn't believe him. But when you came and seen him, he showed to believe him. So if I don't let up, ooh, I know I won't give up. And I know it will get better, but I gotta keep my head up. Cause in my eyes I can't see it But in my heart I'm still believing That's what I call faith walking That's faith walking Have you been faith walking? That's faith walking volunteer one of the the first day I came was the 27th of uh, was it March and I pulled in I was early 
and I hadn't had time to spend five or ten minutes with uh, my Bible and God yet that morning. So I pulled my Bible out, I carried one in my truck, and I said, well, what am I going to read today? I'm kind of off my program, because I have a program that I'm usually going through in the office, and I wasn't in the office. So I said, well, it's the 27th day, but I've read Proverbs 27 50 times, and I've probably read Psalm 27 50 times. So I said, I think I'll read Psalm 127. Does anybody know what the first couple of verses of Psalm 127 says? It says, unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labor in vain. What an appropriate uh, uh, thing for me to turn to. I didn't even read the rest of it at that point. It was just time to sit and talk to the Lord at that point. But then if we dedicate this home to love and understanding, may its joys be great and sorrows be small. We dedicate this home to work, rest, and play. May this home always know joy with the kindness in its voices and laughter running within its halls. We dedicate this home to family and friends. May its doors open in hospitality and its windows look out with kindness toward other homes and those who pass by its doors. We dedicate this home to cooperation. May its duties be performed in love its furnishings bear witness that the work of other ministers are comfort, and its table reminds us that God's work is for us is the supply of our daily needs. We dedicate this home to the appreciation of all things good and true. May the books bring wisdom, the pictures symbolize things beautiful, and the music bring joy and inspiration. We dedicate the time and talent of those who know around this world as well as those who live here, help build a world in which every family may have a home of comfort and fellowship. Sierra, we ask that you may be blessed with the warmth in your home, love in your heart, peace in your soul, joy in your life. Amen.